Okay, so um, today at my son's now five months, I'm finally going to get around to doing my placenta prints and encapsulation. Um, I took it out of the freezer because it's been in the freezer for five months. Um, I took it out of the freezer last night um, around 10 and it's now around 9 so it's been in there for um, it's been in the fridge for 24 hours. Um, I took out earlier it wasn't quite full so I put it in some water in the sink and then I put it back in the fridge. Um, so now I will show you what I've brought ready for doing, doing it. So we've got paper, we've got um, one of these pipette bottles um, for a tincture, um, some oil some alcohol for a tincture, you can use um, vodka or I think brandy, um, you can look up online what you need, um, I'm using vodka. Um, I've got two jars for the pills, I've got gelatin capsules, I've got 200 size 0 ones, um, I've got a piece of cardboard for um, the cord to dry out. I have got four placenta prints. I've got um, food colouring, um, liquid ones and gel ones. Um, and the reason for this is um, I'm using it for um, I'm ingest in ingest ingesting <laughs> ingesting is that a word? Um, the, pl the placenta so I can't use paints. I have to use something edible so that's the reason for these, um, we'll see how that turns out. Um, uh, I've got two um, cookie baking sheets and, oh Jesus Christ, um, oh God, a very heavy pest, pest warm water. Um, you, you can use Jeez, it's so heavy. You can use a pestle and mortar to crush the placenta, or you can use a coffee grinder um, instead. Um, electric coffee grinder if you don't want to do it by hand because it will take probably quite a while. Um, so, yeah. I will get you my placenta to show you that now. So I don't know if it came in a um, hospital biohazard bag. Um, if it did, my sister must have took it off because my sister had it at her house, my placenta at her house while I was in hospital for a few days. Um, and I brought it home a week later. Um, it was frozen before that, don't worry. So it's in a laundry bag by the looks of it from the hospital. Um, it's been in this um, plastic container that I used for it. Um, this is a good size container to fit a placenta in. So. Um, and you can smell like a, um, a mincy smell on oh, no, River's Brew Cup. It's like a mincy smell. I don't know what to do, like, if my baby wakes up halfway and through and doing this, I can't really go and get him. So I'm just gonna go and get him in a minute and bring him in here. Right, so I've got my little boy down here. I'm just there. And you! Are you gonna be a good boy? Hopefully you're gonna be a good boy when I just do this. So I'm just gonna, I've got gloves on. I'm gonna wash them now. Wash my hands. We'll need the sink in a minute, so let's get this stuff out. Oh no. Oh 
no. You're going to be like that all the time. I've got things to do, babe. I've got something to do. You're supposed to be asleep. This is what happens when you have a baby that doesn't sleep at night. He has to come out with you and do things. Because I'm always here wake the other one up. And I have to do this. So let's set this aside a minute. And I'm a red um, sheet. Put it on. do a fast video but then you won't be able to see anything that's going on so let's carry on doing this. You need to try and get as many prints as you can so you can't do it again once you've not got to send it anymore so try and get as many different ones as I can. Um, and I'm going to get prints of both the maternal side and the um, baby side of the centre. I'm going to paint some afterwards, I'm going to do some coloured and I'm going to do some of the blood that's already on the centre. One more for this month. I should have enough. like me this might be a hell of a job to do. I'm quite scared. Right, so it's been put down. I'm gonna wash my hands a minute. Wait, let's rub this in. Rub this blood in. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. <laughs> okay. This sink has to be disinfected unless we do this disinfected afterwards. And then lift. And then 
is one of the prints. Oh, it's so pretty. Pretty, pretty. Right, I'm getting a blood pool forming here. I'll just show you. Um, the blood pool forming. I'll have to try and get the seeps from that up a minute. I'm going to do that. Let's One done. I'm gonna put I need some tissue or something. Suck, I think. Sack's got blood. Oh god. Getting on my clothes, getting on the floor. Everything's left to be disinfected. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna try and wipe love with um, this.
backwards. <laughs> I'm about to love the white wing happened. down on a green one and I've put it to the shape of a heart at the bottom. Um, I've rinsed it as much as I can. There's still tons of blood pouring out of it but um, yeah it's the best as I can. Let's see. Okay so I've got um, pink gel food colouring. Let's, let's do this one first. If I put, well, let's see. Um, Snip the end, end, ends of this off, I just remembered. Just remember you've got to disinfect every single thing, the floor, the sides, everything off this. Can't use, reuse these obviously. Okay, so if I put um pink food colouring in the middle, just, just put just put like a bit on for now. Mix, 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 Oh, 
sausage. A load of green because I went to get a tree. And then finally, I'm going to put black on the stem. And then more paper. Sorry, I have to like have a noisy video, but that's what happens when you have a child going to sleep while I've mentioned. I'll try and get to sleep in a minute, but I've finished this part when I've done this part. more okay so i've just picked my baby up and i've um not washed anything yet but i've dumped all the ice um all the stuff i've just used in there rubbish stuff and i've dumped all the stuff i've used the scissors and the chopping board in a bowl and i've put that in water um the placenta in water for now i'll disinfect the sides in later because he's crying um and here all my lovely prints i've done So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve prints. So I've got plenty of those. Oh, I love them. I'm I don't know, I'm glad I did that. I'm really glad. So yeah, I'll get back to you later. Okay, so I'm back with blood and all. Um, I tried putting him to sleep, but he's not going to sleep, so he's now in the door bouncer. need a chopping board, aren't I? Let's keep those together. I'm going to need this for chopping, aren't I? And I'm also going to need a Okay. 
so first of all I will show you it, the presenter. Here it is, but back in his container. So here is the cord. Don't know how much detail you can see. Um, it's still got blood coming out from inside the cord, <laughs> which is annoying me. Um, if you leave the, if you clamp it straight away, this cord will be dark all the way down. Um, and when it's been delayed cord clamping, it's got these bits where it's void of blood. So that's the cord. And then we just try and get as much of this water out as much as possible. Where's the sack? There it is. Okay. Where's the sack opening? Sack opening. Sack opening. It's here somewhere. Because I had it a minute ago. Open it. <laughs> such a slippery bugger it's hard to find where the sack is ah there it is right just empty the sack a bit okay so here is the sack oh broke it it's quite thin you can see how strong it is to hold your baby in but if you poke a finger through it it will break try and break it there you go broke it right so there's the like veiny um part of the placenta looks like a bit like brain and then there's the other side i'm gonna get rid of the moisture i already rinsed it and got all of them got as much blood out as i can and look still how dark it is coming out Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the umbilical cord off to save for later. Not easy. Not easy. Think how tough this has to be. Come on. Come on, you bugger. later and then um just cut the sack off so this will obviously be easier it's quite thin I'll get back to you when it's done okay so i've cut the um sack off i've put it in here here it is and everything it's like thin bloody mess <laughs> I think I've got it all there's little bits left but it's all been steamed anyway so there's a big blood clot probably have to like wash it all again afterwards I'm going to chop it up first okay so I just love how, I just have a look how, love how it's got all the lines in there tree of life it's disdained your life this life a uh, big bit of skin <laughs> so minging <laughs> so it's the mingingest thing I've ever done in my life okay so now I'm gonna just chop through the middle you've got to try and cut it as even as you possibly can so I, I find it hard cutting chicken so wish me luck quite minging, I don't know how to explain what it looks like. It's like half chocolate cake, half meat. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. I'm going to have to do something in a minute because the more I do cut, the more blood just pouring out. I'll have to get something to soak up I think. I will show you now, let me just clean my hands. I'm 
I do this hat on? Throw it away. Can't throw that away yet, I still need it. Okay, let's get some tissue. I'm gonna, so I've cut it in half, I'm gonna soak up the blood, I'm gonna cut it in half again, uh, then I will get back to you. Right, I'm gonna have to talk pretty loud to get over him so you can hear. Um, I've cut the placenta in half, then I've cut it in quarters, and then I've, and I've cut the quarters in half again. Right, it's not the easiest thing to cut, and you've got to try and, um, I don't want to chop my fingers. So uh, it's quite, actually quite hard to do. Um, and you've got to try and get them all a similar size so they all cut, um, dehydrate at the same speed. So, um, it's not exactly anything easy. <laughs> so if you're, so, if you're really, I'm squeamish, so if you're really, really squeamish, it's not, um, something you can do yourself. And if you don't want to, if you can't stand the smell of meat, it's not easy to do either. Um, I'm... <laughs> thinking ew it smell this um it, it doesn't smell too bad it's just like it smells like when you get mints out and it's like mints kind of smell um a bloody mint it's like when you when you before you rinse the mints off when it's still got the blood on it it smells like that but you cut your damn thing drag i cut my chicken as well instead of going like this i drag and then drag again so those four are about the same size. Yeah, so is this one. It's got a bit of thing on it. Um, I'll get back to you when I finish doing this. Okay, so these are this is the size I've sort of ended up with. These little pieces. This this sort of size. I think that's as much as I can handle. Let's see if I can rip some. Okay, so I'm going to wash all this again now. Let's put it back in here to wash. Okay, so I've um, put it on the baking tray and you also put the sack on the baking tray um, and you put the umbilical cord to dry in the shape you want it to be in. Um, I was going to do a heart but it's so long that I've decided to do a spiral instead. So, ooh, can't wait, it's good in the river. Okay, thank God I remembered the tincture. I didn't get any placenta for this. Luckily I've done caught it in time, I'm gonna go in the oven and get some. Okay, so this is it now. Oh tiny bits. Yeah, I don't need to put that bit in. <laughs> it's not like this. I took the umbilical cord out. I'm not gonna to lie to you, I don't know if this is because I'm absolutely starving <laughs> but the last couple of times I've took the placenta out of the oven um and chopped it up or whatever to get anything or turned it over and exposed the pink bit the smell's actually like me want to eat it <laughs> it's actually been kind of appetizing the smell um so it's really weird because I didn't ex I thought I was gonna be like so grossed out um by it but I probably might have even being able to eat it, like you can make that you can make placenta smoothies, um, and you can uh, cook it. You can make placenta lasagna if you want, or you can even um, 
some midwives still use it today in the home births. You can even chop a little bit up off and uh, put it underneath your lip. Okay, so it's um, quarter past three. Um, I've just took the placenta out of the free oven, freezer, <laughs> the oven, and I've chopped it again. So it's pretty small now. It's about um, this size. So it's about two thumbnail sizes. Um, and I took some tiny pieces off that are or, um, already really dry, and I'm um, crushing it up in my pestle and water. Uh, it's actually harder than it looks, hence the reason why I'm sat down and I've got it on my lap because it's just easier. I've been doing it for about 10 minutes now, still not completely powder, but it's looking really good. And it, it still smells irony, an irony bloody smell, but you've got to be really close to smell it. Because your hand's not on the, on the where the camera is, leave your hand alone. So, um, the placenta's been in the oven. Um, I better tell you the temperature. Baby, can you stop messing around, please? I'm trying to do something. Um, oh god, it's been turned up. Uh, it's at the lowest my oven will go, which is about 50 or 60 centigrade. Centigrade or Celsius? Celsius! You think it's Celsius, do you? Yeah. Um, basically, it's not a Fahrenheit one, so it's the um, 50 or 60 C. C. Um, and it's on the fan, fan assisted oven. I saw this, Mummy! No, thank you. Um, and because it's supposed to be about 40, 43 um, C. Um, and my oven won't go that low. I've propped it open with a rolling pin, which I show you, showed you yesterday. Um, I want to sit on my chair. Okay, but just put your legs that side, please. I'm trying, I'm trying to tell them something. Okay, so um, it is now... Excuse me, I can't do it when you're there. Thank you. It is now um, 20 to 8 at night. Um, and I've just got some more Hello. out. Uh, I thought it was dried completely, but it wasn't, um, only bits were, so I've got those bits out of, in, it's, it's still in the oven. Okay, so when you're filling the, um, capsules up, you take the lid off, and hold it like this, and you get the powder, and you put it in. And then you tap the sides, tap the sides of the capsule to move the powder down to make room for more. And then you can fill it up as much as you can. Heap it on top. Lola light chocolate fix. I do it. Delicious. Don't you? No, you have to, but I heap it a little over the top. So it's overfull. Because when you put the lid on. The lid creates more space. Muller light chocolate fix. Surprisingly, 99 calories. And then it looks. And then. Um, so I keep it at the top because there's a little. Don't know why I've done, not done it sooner. I got fed up. I put it in uh, my smooth maker, which I thought would, I would break or won't be strong enough. But look, it's strong enough. Right, and this powder is what I just took out of the blender. Sooner. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, so, I have now got breast milk and placenta on my face. <laughs> uh, I have made a breast milk and placenta um, face mask, which has been on for five minutes now. Um, to see if it's true that breast milk and placenta are good for your skin. We will soon see. And I will let you know the results. Um, but it feels nice. So, yeah. And I made it, um, if anyone wants to know, if it does work, I made it with um, the ground up placenta that I've got left. 
breast milk and moisturiser.